Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is March 22nd, 2020. It is 6.13 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States. I'm in Rochester, New York. And I wanted to do a video today on why I'm an atheist and how that relates to something like the coronavirus. Um, I grew up as a Catholic and I was taught to believe in miracles. Jesus walked on water. He did miraculous healings of people who were sick, magically clearing up leprosy. And magic is the word. Magic is essentially the same dictionary definition as miracle. So Jesus is doing all these magic tricks, raising people from the dead, healing them of leprosy and blindness, healing them of being crippled in some fashion. Their bodies distorted and he miraculously cures them. Um, there are faith healers today on television, at least in the United States, who are a bunch of liars and say they're healing people through the TV set or putting their hands on people and healing them um, and curing them, which is bullshit. Um, I'm an atheist because I see no miracles. I haven't seen any miracles in my entire life. It took me a while to realize as a Catholic there were no miracles. I was a Pentecostal for a while, still no miracles. I was Baptist for a while, still no miracles. I haven't seen anybody walk on water, and I sure as hell don't see churches curing uh, coronavirus. Actually, the churches, the mosques, and the synagogues and the Buddhist temples are closing down because they can't have large gatherings of people. I find that kind of ironic that the people who believe in God, who believe in miracles, have to close down because God won't heal their congregations or their churches or their mosques or their synagogues or their temples. Um, for years, these are the groups that claim that God does miracles, that Jesus does miracles, that Allah is all-knowing and merciful and benevolent and has all power. Um, Jews believe that God, Yahweh, has all these ma magical powers and all these miraculous things going on and healing people. But when push comes to shove, and something like the coronavirus pops up, or the Spanish flu, or AIDS, or anything else, it isn't uh, miracles that stop these diseases, it's science. Science stopped polio with a vaccine. Science um, stopped measles, mumps, rubella with vaccines. Um, diseases that are caused by bacteria, not by viruses, can be cured by antibiotics. There's not a faith healer on television that ever cured an infection of any kind. And I've seen no miracles at all in the 54 years I've been alive. Out of all the possible diseases that have come and gone and have been cured or at least been reduced, they haven't been stopped by God. They have been stopped by science. Science keeps providing us with the comforts we have in modern life. Everything from this computer that I'm using, to cars, airplanes, cell phones, all created by science. Not by God having a miracle and a magic poof of existence of all these scientific things. These things are being created by the minds of scientists, doctors, physicians, physicists, electricians, engineers, astronomers. All the things that we have in the modern world, including treating disease, comes from science. Now, science isn't perfect. It can't cure all forms of cancer. It can't cure age yet. It can't do a lot of things. But it has done a lot of things to stop other diseases, and it was science that stopped them, not God, not Jesus, not Allah, not Jehovah, not Yahweh, um, not Buddha. Um, there are no miracles, and no one can show me any evidence of one case of coronavirus being cured by God by anybody like laying hands on people. It's bullshit. And so my question to all those who believe in God or Allah or Jesus or Buddha is, where is your God now with the coronavirus? Why do you have to close down your churches for large gatherings? Why can't you keep your church open and pray for a miracle? Because you're not going to get one and you know it. 